Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. I hope you're all well. Hope you're all in the best of health. Aliman, inshallah. As you can tell today, I am in a different setting. I'm in my university forest and mashallah tabarakallah. Look how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful out here. Sometimes it's just nice to go outside and just to sit down and just think or just like breathe or like me vlog <laughs> or not really vlog but like record something because I'm always in my bedroom always in my living room with the ring light and it gets a bit boring after a while so I thought today let me cover the topic of how I stopped wearing makeup because I do get a lot of messages from sister sisters sister telling me or asking me how I personally stopped wearing makeup makeup is it was such a big part of my life not because I liked it necessarily but because it covered up a lot of my imperfections a lot of the things that I wasn't comfortable having or proud of so concealer foundation blush fake tanning were all things that I would use to cover up the fact that I didn't feel beautiful or that I wanted to be perfect or wanted to be a certain way and I remember I first started wearing makeup in sixth form my mum didn't allow me to wear makeup at all and eventually in sixth form I started wearing it or I think high school and I remember I would fake tan with this dove cream and I would fake tan and I would um, and the reason I would fake tan is because being half Algerian half Greek I thought that I had to be a bit tanned I had to look a certain way and being too pale I would always I just didn't feel beautiful pale so I'd fake tan and I probably fake tan for three years straight with this cream and I would wear concealer found foundation not necessarily because the fake tan gave me that glow but makeup for me was such an important part of my routine part of my life part of my identity I couldn't even go to the corner shop without wearing makeup it was that deep because I didn't feel beautiful I felt really ugly so I would always wear makeup and I remember when I wore the hijab at the age of 17 I still wore my makeup and I wore more makeup because now I've hidden my hair I've hidden an aspect that was beautiful so to make up for that I would wear makeup I would wear more makeup to because it was the only thing that I had to show my face and it was the only thing that people had to judge me by and that was the only thing that people could say she's beautiful because she's got a pretty face as opposed to she's beautiful her hair's nice her face is nice so makeup for me was a good three four years constantly wearing makeup it wasn't until last year when I started to not last year two years ago when I started to reduce fake tanning so I'd wiped out fake tanning out of my life I've wiped out um, foundation out of my life and I started to slowly accept the fact that I was pale or white whatever you want to call it I started to finally accept it sitting on this wooden bench is very cringing me out but yeah I finally started to accept um, my skin and I started to feel comfortable in my skin and I remember um finally accepting that i'm white which is so weird for some people but like sometimes we don't like our pale skins we don't we feel like we need to tan up we need to bronze up a bit so alhamdulillah i overcome that barrier even though i would still wear bronzer it wasn't until this year when i fully started stopped wearing makeup and one of the biggest things that helped me stop wearing makeup believe it or not was the niqab a sister um i'm not gonna mention her name because she might not want to be mentioned uh, actually to, uh, put up a post saying that makeup is you know I think it's tabaruj or tabaruj or something it's a form of fitna or whatever and I already knew I already knew in my heart makeup was haram I already knew everything you know about makeup being haram being impermissible but I think it was that post that finally hit the trigger for me that was like you know what I'm gonna cancel makeup out of my life completely but before that I was not wearing makeup I was trying to focus on my skincare one of the most important things I realized when I stopped wearing makeup my skin started to improve dramatically it started to improve like mad i started to focus on my internal as in i would drink lots of water eat good foods take care of my skin you know all of these things played more of a role in my life i could finally go out with no makeup on it before i was in the club by the way without no makeup on i could finally feel beautiful just putting cream on my face and i think this is what the religion teaches us what islam teaches us it empowers us when you finally place your definitions of beauty upon what the quran and sunnah suggests or says that women are beautiful because of this or women are beautiful because of that as opposed to what society says you really start to feel a true sense of contentment a true sense of empowerment you know you start to feel beautiful in a way that is not a beauty that must be seen or a beauty that must be boasted about it's not a beauty that you have to display it for people to appreciate it's a type of beauty that is within you that you're happy with yourself that you're content with yourself and wallahi once you have that and once you've grasped that it shines 
it literally shines like the people you meet fall in love with you everyone falls in love with you because you're working on your character you're working on your health you're working on your skincare things that are long lasting makeup and the makeup industry is designed to profit from your imperfections from your flaws from things that you don't like as a human being so you buy makeup you invest in makeup which is not which is not cheap and has a lot of chemicals in it that can cause many many things but you're still willing to take that risk why because you don't feel beautiful so regardless of whether you think makeup is an art makeup is this makeup is that there's so many excuses to hide away the fact that the makeup industry is designed to cover up your imperfections cover up what you're not comfortable with to give you confidence to give you a boost in your self-esteem and it's very very dangerous and it's very very um addictive it is a form of addiction you will constantly be wearing makeup you'll be stuck to makeup you'll be investing in makeup and you'll be stuck in this chain where you have to cover up a pimple have to cover up a scar cover up this cover up that and it's very a lot of girls when they get married they realize you know what how am i going to keep it up how am i going to wear makeup in front of my husband he's going to see the real me and i feel like once you as a person are able able to grasp what like when islam came down when islam sets these rules it's not to be oppressive it's not to i think someone's behind me i think it's a squirrel yeah so when islam came down with these rules for women it's not to restrict them it's not to oppress them it's not to say you can't have fun it is to teach them that you are a different kind of beauty that this world does not understand and it's literally that you are to be able to to be happy with yourself to be confident in your skin you're in to feel beautiful just by the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you is a very very heavy heavy it's a very it's like something that will take time it's a process it's a very very long sad um you know your shatter your breakdown it's a process that you need to go through in order to finally be happy with the outcome and that is a stronger version of you a more beautiful version of you a version that is happy with themselves because once you're happy with yourself everyone around you will that will shine because if you follow the rules and commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you become a part of his awliya then wallahi watch the people of this earth will love you the people in the heaven will uh, heavens will love you the angels will love you a lot of people think that why is Islam so restrictive? Why is Islam forbidding women from doing this, from this, from this? And there is always wisdom behind it. Like there's always wisdom behind it. At first I was like makeup, really like. But now I think about it, I'm like Alhamdulillah, I had I stopped wearing makeup. Alhamdulillah, I went through that change because it has empowered me so so much. I might be rambling a bit too much, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes we take the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granted and we overstep them. And that comes from not understanding who Allah is and not understanding the definitions of beauty and where you take your definitions from i've mentioned this in my feminism talk where you take your definitions from is very very important if you take your definitions of beauty from islam you will learn that not everything beautiful has to be shown not everything beautiful has to be boasted about not everything beautiful must be on the front cover of magazines you can literally appreciate beauty and it still be hidden do you know what i mean and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to tell us that he created us in the best of forms we don't need makeup we don't need all these chemicals we don't need all these toxins on our faces on our skins we don't need to you know consume all these products to feel beautiful because at the end of the day it is a sin it is haram to wear makeup and as much as you want to argue that it's not it's out there the evidence is out there and I'm not here to tell you what's haram what's halal I think majority of us watching this know makeup is haram or no makeup is haram and we're not accepting the fact that it is just remember every time a male looks at you you'll be gaining a sin if you're wearing makeup you'll be a source of fitna for him and what is the point in putting on a bit of makeup putting on this just to gain a sin do you know what i mean a lot of people are like yeah but why is he looking at me lower his gaze sis it takes two you dress modestly and leave whatever he does up to him as long as you on your makiyama can ask uh, speak for yourself i don't know man i just wallahi i'm telling you sisters just stop wearing makeup because you once you make that change how i made that change is very very important how i made that change was i didn't just go bam bin all my makeup what i done is i actually went through a slow slow process in the sense that i cut down foundation cut down concealer cut, cut down mascara um to the point where oh my god there's a spider on my finger help <sighs> if there's bear spiders on me i'm actually gonna die okay so basically just cut down slowly you know don't just jump from zero to 100 cut it down slowly 
so I went from black mascara to brown mascara to Vaseline to nothing at all it is a slow slow process alhamdulillah now I wear my golden bee skin oils I wear my Nivea cream I wear all this and I'm happy I'm happy with that so yeah I'm not gonna ramble too much all my advice is to you girls who want to stop wearing makeup is make that change start from today start from this YouTube video and watch how you know you start to glow and you start to radiate and you start to be happy with who you are as a person and your whole perception and understanding of the definition of beautiful is no longer about men appreciating you or the wider public appreciating your beauty but it's about you coming to terms with who you are as a person and being comfortable in the skin you're in and yeah let's redefine beauty let's shatter the stereotypes of what a beautiful girl is and let's try to adopt the idea that beautiful doesn't always mean that you have to be seen it doesn't always mean that people have to appreciate you as long as you appreciate yourself and as long as you're comfortable in the skin you're in nothing is more liberating than that and, and, and if you want to wear makeup do it in the comfort of your own homes do it in do it in a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased for you for example for your husband for your family you know I really, I really learned one thing in life and that is once I started taking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rules seriously as in, as in what's a sin and what's not, I realized that there's actually so much wisdom behind it and that comes from not understanding who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the first place. So yeah, um, if I've rambled a bit too much let me know but I, may, I might make a part two of this, I'm not sure but let me know what you girls think if I've rambled a bit too much or not. The main message is let's not let's not wear make and one thing one thing shaitan always likes to come with his wesel in the sense that he will come to you when you're in the mirror and he will tell you maybe a bit of concealer maybe a bit of bronzer maybe a bit of foundation here and there and by the end of it you'll have a full face of makeup sis be con confident in the skin you're in and that will be a process that is very very hard it will be a process that will shatter you redefine you and it's a process that you need to take to finally be comfortable in your skin and one of the biggest biggest things that helped me is wearing the niqab the niqab helped me so much because even though i was struggling to stop wearing makeup wearing the niqab helped me to wear makeup and for it not to be a sin and what i mean by that is the makeup that is not seen so like under here my lips my forehead whereas the bit that's seen obviously you don't wear makeup in but yeah do what you can there's so much beauty in our religion and it's only once we start to take the religion seriously do we realize you know what this is for me because people think that islam is to please god islam is to do things for the sake of allah islam is this islam at the end of the day is here to protect you from the dunya it's here to prevent you from engaging in haram things that will hurt you in the end allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need our worship he doesn't need our um us to give up our sins he doesn't need all of this everything that we do is for ourselves to protect ourselves from the dunya and that is all I have to say for today, kind of. So I hope you guys like this new type of video. Inshallah, this forest is so beautiful. Like, look, this is also naturally beautiful. And that's what you should be. Anyway, that was a bit too much cheese for me. But I'm talking really fast now because it's getting awkward. You get me? But yeah, let's take a stro stroll. Please do leave your comments down below on how you want to stop wearing makeup. And if you wear makeup, how you can motivate yourself to stop and all of that jazz. I think I said jazz about six times. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.